Find someone else to talk to. Find someone else to talk to. Find someone else to talk to. Stormson escaped the guards, taking him into exile. Then he is safe. For now. He knows these forests better than anyone. Please, if you hear of him, if you see him out there, warn him that Angrim will keep searching for him. He might not be able to return to Goliath, but please tell him he will always have at least one friend in Goliath. Do you know where he might have fled to? If Angrim has search parties out, Stormson might have gone to the clerics. He was always fascinated by their technology. broken bones. Here, I think this will aid you. I could do with more of those. It's dangerous out there. Yes. You don't look like you're someone who lives a quiet life. Take this, but that really is all I can give you for now.
out. Initiating combat. Another step if you value your life. I value it. Commander Jax, they said you're dead. Executed. They tried. They failed. And so you live. So you're still Commander Jax, alb servant of the Hydra? Or has a near death experience brought you to your senses? You'd have shot me already if you thought I was an alb. It looks like you're no longer taking Helix. But does that mean you've joined the fight against Zekor? They tried to kill me. I'm owed some revenge. So, you swapped sides too. But just because you're free doesn't mean you're not a threat. Five minutes with the free people teaches you that emotions don't make people less dangerous. Strange, isn't it? On this side, Free from Elix and from control. And where you've gone, some of us are trying to follow. We want to be free from Elix, eventually. We want to stop the Ice Palace from making a mistake. How did you escape from the other Alps? We didn't set out to become separatists. We were part of a commando unit. Our mission hit problems and we were cut off from Zaykor. After a while, we began to run out of supplies, including Elix. It wasn't long before we started to dream, to feel. Alexander Parsec noticed it first. He sent out patrols to locate possible sources of Helix, but it was too late. Eventually, our unit got round the enemy and returned to Zekor. But we had changed. We realized we wanted to think. We no longer wanted to be controlled by the Alb Directive. What happened? We escaped and made it out here. We knew Parsec and the other Alexaders would see it as treason, but we had already seen too much without Elix to blind us. The Albs are bringing about their own downfall. They're slaves with Elix there to control them. Escaping and joining the Separatists was the only logical course of action. In order to save the Albs, the Alexaders must resign and the old directive must be followed. I still believe the Albs can become more than we are. But we can't do it alone, and we can't save this planet by subjugating and killing everyone else. What have you been doing here in Edan? Hiding from the Alps, hiding from the free people, and wondering what will become of us. And we do it with fear. 
For the first time, we do it with fear. Yes, I know. Elix withdrawal is hard. Logic, precision, they are what we have been for most of our lives, and now we find those things challenged. It's confusing. But with that fear comes something else. Hope. Hope that our freedom means something. But unless we can find people, free people, who will work with us, then we don't stand a chance. I could speak to the Berserkers. Is there a Berserker you can trust? Someone who would work with us? If there is, please, talk to them for us. You know what we can do. Persuade them that they need us on their side, that we can help. We seek an alliance, not a fight. What would you want in return? To be treated like the other free people. The clerics have fought wars with the Berserkers, but they still speak to them. Some of them must understand that we deserve a chance. For that, we will work with them to stop the rule of Zaykor. If you say so. What do you think of the free people? There must be another way to get Elix than to extract it from living people. Well, we think that the Albs will win someday. But what then? What happens when there is no more Elix? What happens when we have used all the resources? We fear that that could mean the downfall of us all. Where can I find your headquarters? I need to trust you more than I do before I'll tell you that. You have to help us first. There. I think I found those elves. The Berserker Hakon sent me to speak to you. Hakon? What does he have to say? Hakon says you killed his men. There's a truth in that. We killed Berserkers in the battle before we changed. It was a massacre in truth. One ordered by Zaykor. But we are not who we once were. We are no longer Albs who blindly follow the word of the Alexivers. We have to convince him of that. We will find a way to pay reparation for what we did. And we can start by offering a hand in the Alliance. If Hakon will offer us a haven here, the protection of a truce, we will fight against our common enemy. But he must do it soon. Zaykor is preparing to move against us. Soon, the Alexiders may kill us for him. You should talk to someone else. I can't help you. found the Alps. So, they are scouting those locations. They must be planning another attack. Did you kill the scouts? Or are you here to ask for help? I spoke with them. To the Alps? And you're still alive? No, no, you're full of shit. Alps don't speak to anyone. Those Alps didn't kill your men. They have left Zaykor. They're free from the Alp Directive. And you believed that shit? The Separatists don't want to fight you. You should talk to them. They're good fighters looking for allies to bring down the Alexiders. Allies? This stinks of a trap. It's no trap. They want your help. They're fighting the Alps to put an end to the bloodshed. 
to get rid of the Lexiters. You're serious? Alps that want to fight Alps? Well, if they want to give up the fight, then it is my job to give them a welcome. Tell me where you found them. said they would be. I'll send a few men to these uh, separatists to see what their intentions really are. If they're lying, they will pay with their lives. But if they're telling the truth, then maybe we berserkers have found the allies we need to defeat the Alps. Here, take this as payment for your help. Entry. First the Elix devours him, now it devours me, but I have no choice. Surely to steal is better than to kill. If I don't act now, then death must follow. So, the choice is made, and we must both go into the mausoleum. Perhaps we can live in this house of the dead. <laughs> Either this guy is reliving teenage poetry, or I just found out where he went. I should tell Caldrum. Well, I found Kral's diary. Where did you find it? And does it tell you anything useful? By the balcony of Ragnar's stronghold. Kral wrote about a mausoleum outside of Goliath. Maybe he went there. Then he has picked the perfect place to hide. I don't know anyone who would go willing into that mausoleum to search for him. It is a place for the dead. I'll go, if you tell me where it is. Very well. You will find the mausoleum in the area outside Goliath that is down below the pit, south, southeast towards the world heart. Tread carefully, though. People are telling stories of some sort of undead creature there. Not that I believe in such things myself.
as you wish. Over there. What are you doing here? You, sh you should go. This place is dangerous. You, you should move on. You're Krell, the guard from the Mana Shrine, right? Yeah. You've come looking for me then, huh? And you came running, did you? I would prefer not to engage in armed combat at this time. And what about your friend? You're the one who disappeared at the same time as it did, and you're hiding out here. So, they have no other suspects? Why did you steal the Elix? What's that to you? I've not seen you before. Tell me what happened. Maybe I won't give you up. How can I be sure of that? can't. But if I don't go back to Goliath, then they will know you're here. You don't have a choice. No. No, I don't, do I? Use your chance to get out of this, or leave it. Your choice. Who says there's anything to explain? Elix, it's worth a lot. I took it. I sold it. You wouldn't be hiding out here if you had. Maybe I like mausoleums. Go on, ask your questions. Why do you need Elix? I am not hiding. Have you met the mutant here? No. That is my brother, Grimmer. The Albs captured him and took him to that converter. They were going to throw him in. He escaped somehow, but the converter had changed him. I don't know how he survived, but whatever that machine did to him, it's left him needing Elix. If he goes without it for any time, then he's in pain. Without it, I know he'll die. He's my brother. And sometimes I wonder if I did the right thing in saving him. You're feeding Elix to your brother? I'm controlling it. Trying to lessen the dose each time. I'm weaning him off it, I'm sure. I keep going. I can get him back. When he's better, I'll go back to Goliad. I'll explain everything to Caldron. Until then, I can. They wouldn't understand what I'm doing. Keep the Elix. Yeah, great. I wouldn't have given it to you anyway. What will you say to Calvin? I'll say I found your corpse. Dead should answer the question. They won't look for a dead man. Maybe. I can explain that. If I go back in the future, say the body was mutilated, I'll say that I planted things on it. I hope I can go back to Goliath. 
after my brother's cure. No, I'm not good enough for that. better than anything I could have made. I can hunt again. Thank you, thank you. said you could give Leonard his bow. He needed it, so I got it for him. You might think you were being helpful, but that wasn't. Leonard needed to learn a lesson. How's he gonna do that now? About Kral. Yes? I found Kral. He's dead. Then his crime has been paid for. Did you find the elix there with him? No, there was no elix. I feared as much. 
No doubt it has already fallen into the wrong hands. Thank you for your efforts. You achieved more than the guards did. One question at least now has an answer. You said something about a special job if I want to join you. Correct. Then listen well. You must have sensed it out there. That things are changing. That something is happening. If we are going to survive and prosper, if we're to stand a chance against the Alps, I need to know what's going on there. That's where you come in. I need information about the other factions. Any information would be useful. But if you could bring me a report from the fort in Tavar, that would be very useful. So, be it the outlaws, a trip to the Dome City in Abessa, or word from the clerics in Ignodon, I need information. Bring me a report from at least two cities. Why don't you send one of your people? Sending a berserker might get the other factions worried. Or they simply might not talk to one of us. Or worse, talk, but lie. You, on the other hand, might get some proper answers. Now, I can give this job to someone else if you would prefer. But then you would be passing up the chance to prove yourself. The journey will have dangers. But if you stick to the path, you should reach the other cities alive. So, what will it be? Will you prove yourself? Impress me, and you will earn not just election, but favor, promotion, honor. We don't trust the secrets of our magic to just anyone. If you want such rewards, you need to earn them. About my support. How am I doing? You have passed Angram's test. That stands you in good stead. You helped protect the seedlings from mutants. Yora says that you found him the converter parts he needed. That impressed him enough to earn you his pledge. You made quite an impression on the workers. Arnir says you were a great help to him. It seems you weren't able to find the stolen elix for Caldrum. You must do more if you want to fit in here. Earn those pledges, and you will earn my approval. About my support, is there anything else that I can do for you? You seem to take this seriously. That's good. Since I can't pass off my duties on to you, you will have to make yourself useful in another way. The cultivators are constantly bothering me with their requests. That needs to stop. Oh, and Erdor hasn't sent back any reports from the World Heart lately. Find out if he's all right, and if he needs anything. As you can see, there's always something to do here. I took care of your door. Are there any problems? None to speak of. Tell me, why am I hearing only complaints from the cultivators? Did it have something to do with the food you took them? It'll be days before they're able to work at full capacity again. And sickness and diarrhea really aren't words you want to hear around food production. Yerdor asked for food, I took him food. Where's my payment? Payment? You made my men sick! Whatever you thought you were doing, you've left men in the forest with their guts in knots. Be glad I'm not force-feeding you whatever you gave them. What contact do the Berserkers have with the other factions? The Albs want no contact but that of war and conflict. Perhaps the Separatists will be more open to conversation, but trust will be hard. We have maintained conversations with the clerics. But the peace that has strained since our last war has never held easy. The outlaws? Well, they have no true leader and no true cause. Any dealings with them are dealings with individuals. It's self-evident that the paths of all the factions will cross, and that conflict is likely. So, you have no interests outside of Dan? 
The Berserkers believe that all of Magalan should be healed, not just Edan. If we can plant more world hearts in Tavar or Abessa, then we could give all the soil there new life too. But the other factions don't see it that way. They fear the changes we bring. Do you know that for sure? Have you spoken to the other factions? Spoken, no. But we sent men to establish world hearts in Abessa and Tavar. And they have been attacked almost constantly. In fact, their reports are overdue. You came to us from beyond our walls. If you know your way across these lands, could you go to the World Hearts and see what happened to our men? I will look for your men in Tavar and Abessa. Thank you. It's time that we learn their fates. You ensure you're properly equipped before you go. It isn't a short journey, and the way will be difficult. Where are the World Hearts? The World Heart in Tavar was sent to an oasis out in the desert. You will have to walk carefully once you're there. The outlaws do not take kindly to people crossing through their lands. You'll find the World Heart in Abessa to the south of the Dome City. I have the best goods that you could ever need during your travels. Then show me what you have. Only the best for an adventurer like you.
There must have been a lot of civilians living here once. I don't have the shard, so that's not gonna happen. Get something People to drink say first. People to believe in nature, and then they put their trust in a thing like that. Goods are the whole heart of trade. Now, what's the world without trade? I need the shards. It's as simple as that. There are reasons for us to come together. Get something to drink first. Welcome to the camp of the impure, where the poor souls barred from the city stand and wait for the Alps to kill them. What do you want here? We don't want anything here. We want to be in there, in the city, as the law says we can, as the law says we should be. Those clerics are supposed to uphold the law, yet here we are, the gates closed to us. So, outlaws from Tavar standing by the council's law. Well, that's something I never saw coming. That's you berserkers. You always have been small-minded. There's no profit in the law. He's planning something. Are there any traders out here? Out here? Not really traders, no. Don't you trade? If there's profit in it, I'll buy and sell anything you want. What is it you're looking for? Just show me what you're willing to trade. All right, let's see if we can both profit. I'm looking to buy a weapon. Sure, if you have the shards. Here, I'll take it. Shards to me, and to you, your key. What am I supposed to do with this? You open the crate in the shack over there with it. I don't lug all my merchandise around with me. Go on, go and get it. You won't be disappointed. The eel. I heard he was robbed. Do you feel the same way? Not like that. to another near the Hort in Ignodon. Hey, you've been out in the wilderness, right? Yes. Well, I'm looking for a guy, and I wonder if you've seen him. He's called Ray. He's an outlaw with a big mouth on him. Bit of a waste. You haven't met him anywhere out there, have you? No, I've not met anyone called Ray. Yeah? Well, if you do find Ray, can you let me know? What's it worth? If it's a real lead and not troll crap, then I'll pay you a decent reward for the information. I don't think you can go lying to me and make it up where he is. I'll know a lie if I hear it. Halt! Not a step further. No one is allowed into the city without an entry permit. You want to rush him, or find another way in? Try either thing, and our mechs will blow you apart. But you know, it's your intestines you're risking, so try what you will. Where can I get an entry ID? You can't. We're full. We're short of supplies. So the decision has come down to close the gates. The full allocation of entry IDs has been given out, and we have instructions not to let anyone else in. Those outlaws have us stretched enough as it is. I'm not saying you're working with them, but until law and order is reestablished, we can't risk any more undesirables joining up with them. You'll have to wait till all this is over and done with. Say, there's a bunch of others who can't get in who've taken up residence in some houses near here. Why don't you join up with them? Have there been any alb attacks here recently? With Zaykor on our northern border, there are always alb troops coming through on their way somewhere, but they don't seem to be attacking us here for the moment. But have you heard anything about Lexiters traveling through Abessa? Yeah, yeah, I have now that you mention it. Alexiter Kallax was reported to have headed north with a few combat units and a troop of mechs. 
elects it Calix, so he's been promoted. Tell me, how long ago did Alexeter Calix head north? A few days ago. It must be back at the Ice Palace in Zacor by now. What's with the interest in Alexeters? You go chasing them, you'll just find trouble. And I don't want them tracing that trouble back here. I'm asking so I can avoid them. Don't treat me like a rookie. You sound like someone who wants a showdown. So let me give you a warning. That approach is gonna get you and anyone close to you killed. to get into the city. Can you get me in? Have you tried to get in yet? Yes. I went to the gate. And? You got turned away, right? I wouldn't be here otherwise. Okay. I can offer you a way to get into the city, but it's risky because you might not get out again. At least not if they confiscate your ID. Just get me in there. All right, all right. I just hope things don't go the same way they did with Cooper. The clerics have shut the city up tight. They won't let anyone who doesn't have a valid ID through the gate. Not in, not out. Why would the clerics stop people leaving the city? They're stopping them meeting up with us. That's what I heard. Paranoid assholes. Anyway, we're off the point. You want in, right? And I can give you a counterfeit ID that will get you in. But, once you're inside there, I need you to go and take an ID card to Cooper. That way he can come back out again. Like I say, I can get you in. But I also need you to help me out. You good with that? Does that sound like a deal? Deal. Give me the ID, and I'll meet Cooper. Good. Right. That's the plan. Long term. You see, Wick has all the blank IDs. So before I can get you an ID, I need you to get me Wick. Where is Wick? Well, that there is a good question. You see, he's been gone for a while. He'd gone over to the ruins to see if there was anything worth scavenging there, and hasn't come back. You should look for him over to the northwest if you're in a hurry to get into the city. Just look through all the houses. He should still be there, scavenging. The Elix. The Elix is behind most of this. I is she really so gullible? No. I can't believe that. So annoying. So, so annoying. Something like that. Goods are the whole heart of trade. And what's the world without trade? Just believe in it. Belief overcomes. Someone needs to go out there and kill every last raptor. Are you serious?
It's like a giant child's toy. I wonder what it was for. We got it working. Not the way we want it, but if we start it, we have a chance to survive down here. We've got an hour until impact. I won't have time to get back to base. I won't be able to get back to the dam. Please, please, just let the thing work this time. 